Hello everyone, welcome to Downtown Tailoring. In today's video, we are going to make the V-neck in a t-shirt style. And you know how I am, I won't let you down. I will make the t-shirt in two ways. Let's say the regular way and the easy one. So let's go. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. We are going to start with the traditional way. We are going to use this color in and we are supposed to be like a going around. And you know, the size is probably the same size as your color, but around two inches less. I just have the front part is like a mini mini, but you know, you get the idea. Yes, you do. So I will fold it and I will find my center and I will make a line. This line will just serve as a guide. And then I will put my sweater on top and I will mark the V of my sweater in my collar. As you can see, I'm using a metal ruler just to make it easier for me. This is my mark and then I will go to my sewing machine and I'm going to very delicately stitch over my mark. This is very crucial step because your vertex has to fall exactly where it's supposed to be. Try to do it the best way you can. I'm using a light thread so you can see, but of course you wanna use the same thread color. After that, I will cut the excess of seam allowance, leaving around one quarter inch. Then I'm gonna make a slit in the center so that can open and then I will just fold my collar in this way, you see? And as you can see, the collar is formed. It's very important to open the seam allowance inside and this is why it's a very good idea to go to the ironing board and iron the seam allowance open. You shouldn't iron so much because this material is delicate and sometimes stretch or change the shape, but you know, the best you can. This is my color and now I'm making sure that everything matches up. For that, I'm using a pin and I'm making sure that I'm going through the stitches and go through both layers of fabric. Then after I know that my two centers are together, I'm gonna pin the whole thing just to make it easier. Some people don't pin it and they do perfect job, but I need to pin it. Then I'm going to my sewing machine and sew all the edges so when I put it in my shirt, it doesn't move. I can cut as well the excess of seam allowance that is going out and I have a perfect V or Roman 5. Well, I'm taking my shirt now and I'm finding the center. I'm marking that with my pen. And what I'm gonna do, I will mark my sewing line. I'm gonna sew at one quarter inch. So I'm marking around the two V. And this point in the center is my important point. I will mark my sewing line as well in my V to find this point in the V. I'm going through the layer, so I'm not pinching fabric. I'm going through. And then I will join that to the V in my T-shirt. And then I will go to my sewing machine and start sewing the neckline. When I arrive to the center, then I will go very careful to this point that is very important, and then I went back. As you can see, you cannot go not even one stitch more. That's very important. And then I will make another slit and I will stop just above the point. Then I will put my material again in my sewing machine a little bit back and then I will go to the front. And then when I arrive to the point, I will pivot my material to put it in the right direction and then I will rotate the collar until they are in the same direction. You have to check that there is no bulky material underneath anything because this is the most important when you are doing the V-neck, a clean rotation. And that's it. My V is formed. After that, you can iron it a little bit 
When you iron it, it cannot be forced. It has to be natural. If you didn't do it right, then it starts to pull and the iron won't fix it. And then you can clean your seam by searching all around. After you can hide the ends of thread, of course, putting inside of the serger. And then you can go to your sewing machine and then one last top stitch, which will reinforce everything you have done. And here you go, guys. This is all. You see, it was easier than we can imagine, right? It is very beautiful and nice. It's a really good job to do. Now let's go to our next one. This one will be easier. In this case, we are going to measure around and we are going to take the length and reduce the length by one inch approximately. And then we are going to fold it lengthwise. It's a good idea as well to iron it because that way it's easier for us to work with it. Then I'm gonna just present it to see how it is. And uh, you see, this is the way. If you go with the right on top, it's for women. If you go with the left on top, it's basically for men. Let's do amen. So I'm gonna take my t-shirt and as I did before, I'm gonna find the center and I will mark it with my pen. And then I'm gonna put my material with the same shape with the V. And I'm making sure that it's exactly in the center. Now that I know what is the angle, I'm going to my sewing machine and secure it. And that's it. I'm gonna cut the excess of seam allowance and my collar is ready to be sewn. If you want, you can sew all around as well, but because this one is a little bit easier, I didn't do it, but you can do it for more comfortable work. I'm gonna mark again my quarter inch of sewing line to find my point, and I'm gonna mark it as well in my collar. And then I'm going to join point with point and pin that secure. This time I'm gonna work with the shirt on top so I can see better the neckline. I'm gonna sew all the way down until I arrive to the center. And I'm gonna do exactly the same as I did the other time. I will just go back from this point and I will take it from my machine. And then I'm gonna use my snipper and open a slit in the V2. Then I'm going back to my sewing machine a little bit back and then I will sew until my point and then I will pivot everything and finish my sewing and I get a perfect V and this was very easy, right? And then you know the drill, you iron, search and then top stitch is done. This is really fantastic, it looks great, it's a perfect V. And these are the two V necks in the two ways. Let me know in the comment if you like one more than the other, if you wanna try them both. So guys, that was all for today. If you find this video useful, please give us a like and don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell below so you can see more of our videos. Share, comment, bye.